Would you like to create your own MCPs and integrate it with different agents? Now, Agno is a platform which I've created numerous videos. Agno is a platform in which you can create agents blazingly fast. Now, with the recent introduction of MCP, why not integrate MCP with Agno agents as well? Now, let's go ahead and do just that. So if you go to their docs, you can go to their GitHub and you can start this repo because this is an amazing repo. I will link everything in the description section and you can go ahead and have a look. So let's get started. Let's start with cloning this repo. So I'm going to clone this repo because they have everything done for you. Let me select a folder, go to CMD and go to code space dot enter. This will open up my code editor which is cursor in this case next we need to clone this so git clone and paste in the repo this is going to clone the entire repo as you can see here agno is being cloned okay once this is cloned we can go inside agno so we can go to cd agno and inside agno i want to go to cookbooks inside the cookbooks i want to go to tools so cd tools and inside tools i'm gonna go to mcp so this is the folder mcp inside of tools now what i'm gonna do is open up the code editor here itself so i can say code space dot enter this will open up the code editor again but now the default folder is the mcp folder let's go ahead and as you can see we are inside this link and we are also inside a virtual environment which is agno thinking in this case so let's look at the example of how this is done so if you go to so if you go to airbnb.py there is one example which is already being made uh, for your mcp so let's check that out so what we have done here first of all we need to install these so pip install google gen ai mcp and agno so let's install this we go here and install all these so Google Gen AI will help you use the Gemini models. MCP is for using the MCP and Agno is the main framework that we have. Let's import these. So I import async here because we are working with async codes. We are importing the warnings here as well. From Agno agents, we import the agent. This is the main agent class that we're going to use to create our agents this is the model so agno models google we import gemini and this is the main class mcp tools which comes from agno tools mcp and we have one utility class well for pretty printing we are ignoring the common types of messages that comes in common types of warnings and now let's go to the main function so if you can see this entire function we define a new function known as run agent it takes in a message and then we see that we use this mcp tools and to that mcp tool we pass this part of the code which is npx dash y then open bnb mcp server airbnb so this is the main mcp server if we want to talk about uh, open bnb airbnb if you go to your google and say airbnb mcp then you'll come across this github which is the mcp server for airbnb if you head down then you can see that we have this npx dash y and open bnb mcp server airbnb and ignore robots txt so this is what we have copied to our code here and now uh, this is we are using this as an mcp tool we are creating the agent we're creating an instance of the agent class we're using gemini models the id is this and we need to insert this api key so how to get the api key we get the api key from gemini so you can go to gemini api key and then you can go to get a google or gemini api key for developers get a gemini api key then you can click on get api key and then we create api key here 
then go and put it in any projects and create an API key in the existing projects. So this will create your API key. Now you can copy this API key and paste it in this section. So that's done. So as tools, we are using this MCP tools. So you can see this critical statement here. So we are passing tools to this agent, but the there, are only, there is only one tool that we are passing which is this MCP tools now this MCP tool is the whole BNB server now inside that BNB server or MCP server we have different tools we have different kind of tasks that we can do and we don't need to pass all the tools that are available in that server we are just passing the entire server itself as a tool in the agent and this makes it easier this makes it easier for the LLM to go through the list of tools that the server has and decide in real time which one to use. And that's amazing. If we use an API, then it's really difficult. You need to code the entire uh, tools. But here we just code the server, just call the server and your LLM is going to pick up. Your LLM is going to do the hard task of selecting the right tools for your given action now we are putting this as markdown then we are running the agent so we're putting a run because uh, it's an asynchronous run then a p p print so which is an asynchronous print therefore you are getting this and we are waiting for just a second because just 0.1 uh, second because it tends to give some warnings if you don't do this so if name equal to main we're running this locally here if you call uh, this async dot run then we give the question here so what listings are available in san francisco for two people for three days from one to four august give me the best two options we can do this later but let's look at this one only so let's run this if i make some space and run this so python it's airbnb.py and let's see if we get any output so it's working it's working it's going to the airbnb server and asking the question please give me three nights stay from first to fourth august 2025 for two people so you can see this the output we can see that it gives me uh, this pretty output okay i found several listing in san francisco for two people from august 1st to 4th august 2025 here are the few options you can see these five options now if i want to limit this to like say three options uh, limit uh, the answer to just three options let's run this again and see if it's able to comply with my request pretty cool as you can see just uh, three options here so uh, I wanted to make sure if it's really option uh, if it's really the option and it gives me some detail here let us go to that room actually and try to see if it gives me the correct thing so classic studio lower pack height and that's pretty good rating is 4.86 good price is about 41,000 and uh, guest favorite free cancellation pretty good okay so we have this the next is the golden gate park pretty cool so this works i can add a few more details for example just uh, let's say just two options we're limiting this to two options uh, give me specifically give me the name of the host for example and let's see what are the details uh, we can ask and let's say and type of bed available right so we can change this to maybe paris and let's see for one people let's say solo travel one person for let's say two nights from today's 3rd of may let's say 4th to 6th 4th to 6th yeah 4th to 6th of may let's check this out so we run this again airbnb.py is going to call the servers hey mcp servers 
please help airbnb mcp service is going to see the list of tools that is had and it's going to select the appropriate tools that is required to answer all these questions and it's going to find out the replies and give it to me so the answer is okay i can help you with that i will first search uh, through the listings and then retrieve the details for the first two results i found some listing for you in paris for one person from fourth may to may 6th i need to get the specific details you asked for host name and bed type cool okay here are two listings available in paris for one person please note that the host names are not always explicitly available thank you private room in a 15th century apartment brigitte and host name is this so if you go to the link to check this out if it's really able to pull that up so yeah the host name is good next is uh, levoche levoche paris let's see if it's correct so hosted by levoche that's pretty good so you can see that you can ask any questions and the main job you know is being done by the llm which picks up the right tool from the list of airbnb mcp server okay from the list of tools from the single airbnb mcp server now this is just one example you can see it's so easy to integrate we already know how to create agents on agno it's pretty simple we already know how to push tools and give it the hands and feet to work but in the case of tools if you put in mcp tools that it's an even more beneficial for the llm because now it can access the server and inside the server we have multiple tools if airbnb tomorrow decides that they are going to introduce one more tool no problem we don't have to change our code because our llm which is gemini in this case is smart enough to go through the list of the tools in the airbnb server pull up the required tool and give you the answer how easy is that now agno the team at agno has given other examples here as well we can see that there is a, the stripe example uh, there is the cli example file system github grok and there's so many different examples and if you really want to see uh, the list of mcps available there are tons of mcps available if i take you to the mcp here and you can see that you can have a read of this and you can see that an open source repository of mcp servers there are tons of servers here i can see uh, aws brave search ever art everything fetch so all these systems all these mcp servers are ready for you to use you can take this and use it on your code pass this as a tool in your agno agents and this is going to give you results easily you don't need to set up the entire tool system so i hope i'm able to convince you to use this please check out agno it's an amazing framework and i really love it actually so having said that if you want to check out how to create mcp agents for gradio interface you can check out this video otherwise feel free to go through the other sections of my channel there are amazing videos if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video thank you